It's summertime, it's slick calm. We got Jocelyn, we got Caroline. Nick's behind the camera this time. Ha! <laughs> Most of the time it's me. We are going to catch some yellowtail first for dinner and then we got another one of the nomads by Blue. So we have two of them now. We are going to try catching some little creatures for the new aquarium at Nick and Sarah's house. Uh, we were running up to look for pilchers and bait, and they were going by us. So we need to get our everything out of here and get ready to throw on them. I was slowing down, and Nick said, keep going, go faster. And then I ran them over. <laughs> That's what it, that, that is true. Out. Turn the live well on. Put the plug in the live well. There is so many of them. I hope I open it, you guys. They are everywhere. Are we ready, Justin? We're rolling? Rolling. Are you ready? One, two, three. We got him, guys. Look at him flashing. Oh, we got light up that Christmas tree. We got the charge, you guys. We got pilchers. Oh yeah. Oh. You guys, we might get the snappers going on these. Oh yeah, look at that pull. Oh, I wish bait was over. Alright, we're good, let's go. Yep, we're good. One and done, baby. One and done. You can't even see there's so many. Out. We are splitting them up because there's too many in the one live one. We got a lot of bait, you guys. Hopefully, we'll catch some fish on them now. Those are chunky. Cheers. <laughs> All right, let's go fishing. Time to catch some yellowtail. Let's go. We need yellowtails. We need the girls to pressure wash them. That's the yellowtail. We got one for dinner. All right, now we need about We're on the board. Fifteen more. Oh, 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 oh. oh. no! <laughs> Get in the boat. What? <laughs> <laughs> She's fast. She had cat legs reflexes. I'm definitely not getting bit by a snapper. Yeah, don't today. get spied. The spine the worst. Alrighty. Let's uh, we'll just get them going. We had to move spots. Good we forgot, yeah, we forgot the oatmeal, which helps a lot, yell tilling. So we're just doing this. We're using shrimp. We're using a. Don't worry, Caroline. It'll save you. It's safe now. <laughs> oh. oh my gosh. Look at the size of that grouper. They're so pretty. There's no way you could catch another strawberry. I've killed them. Double. Back to back strawberries. Delta, right? Targeted species. There you go, will you then? Coming in hot. Sweet. How do you feel? Pretty good. <laughs> A little traumatized, but fine. <laughs> From the first one. Yeah. We're on the phone with Tan Man, getting a hot report, you guys. Catching a yellowtail for the video. Oh. Jocelyn. <laughs> Alright, sorry, you might have to check your bait. Oh, he's that, on. Oh, he's back. <laughs> oh, no. That's, That's what happened last time I told you to check the mutton bait. You bottom. got a nice mutton. He's at the bottom. Oh, pull. Oh, nuts. He got me at the bottom. Hooks are flying, Super but no cool. one's been hooked yet. <laughs> I mean, no yellowtail. It's a yellowtail. There you go. Uh, it's a monster. A bigger one? <laughs> she can decide. Oh, he's angry. 
Hello, Mr. Yellowtail. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hi, we're taking him all day. Good job, Sarah. Yes. We're getting the yellowtails now. They gotta be 12 inches, and these are probably 13 to, that one's probably 15 inches there. Good job, girls. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, that's a nice one, Caroline. Oh, yeah. I'm not doing it. <laughs> Get him now. <laughs> Caroline, grab the fish. I'm trying. There you go, good job. Oh, the yellowtail snapper. <laughs> There's the tan man out there. Not the 145 foot yacht going by, but just past that. The yacht blocked us, sorry Matt. There he is, there's a the tan man right there, you guys. Right there, oh, another guy who made our way. Did you just get yacht blocked? We just got yacht blocked. That yacht blocked Matt on the tan man we're trying to give a shout out to. He's out there fishing. How can I always swallow them like that? It's, it's, it looks, oh, it was a snapper. It's a snapper. Right? Oh, nice schoolmaster. That's so nice. Oh, it's pressure washer! Good job. Wow. He'll pressure wash. Nice. Look at him. Ice fishing in the keys. Yeah. <laughs> Sweet. They're pretty fish. We liked the first one so much we had to get two. Now we have two Nomads made by Blue. They're really cool. They're tankless, battery operated dive systems. You can go 30 feet deep. We're gonna go in the water in a minute. I'm gonna show you how easy they are to use, how easy they are to put on. And we're gonna go look for coral banded shrimp. All right, here we go. We're gonna put on the harness here with the regulator. It's super easy. It goes on around your neck like that. The strap goes here. And then the chest strap goes like that. We're in. Simple. We always wear our spare air, just our backup air system for safety. So that just hooks on right here too. So we're gonna put this in the water and it'll just kind of drift out away from the boat here. guys underneath the water to chase some coral banded shrimp around. Sarah said we had about a 99, what'd you say, 100% chance? 106. 106% <laughs> chance of getting a coral banded shrimp. We caught no coral banded shrimp, we didn't even see one, but we saw lots of lobsters, <laughs> lots of fish. Um, there were stone crabs, so it was really cool to see. And uh, you know, neat now that having to dive down and come up and down every time. We were just down there swimming with a nomad, so that was cool.
right equipment, huh? <laughs> no, but you know what? We make do with what we got. We'll get it done. Frank and I came back out. We have, we're using the blue nomads and we are crushing it. We got a couple high hats and a coral bandage trim. I'd say that was a successful mission. What do you think? <laughs> Absolutely, dude. How you like the nomad? Uh, the Nomad works excellent, man. This uh, It's beautiful. You don't have to go up and down. You can take your time and just look at things, really study it. It, it takes the stress out of snorkeling. It, it's a no-brainer. These things work great. This is our Giraffe Tools pressure washer. We use it for cleaning the boat. Sarah's also going to show you that you can clean fish with it, which is really cool. But check this out right now. It's got a 100 foot long hose on it with an auto lock feature. Come back as far as you want. All you got to do is pull it and stop it. It stopped. There's no pressure on there. Start cleaning the boat. You don't have to scrub the boat. You can just use this. Open up all your hatches in here. See all the dirt in this hatch right here? It works perfect for that. how far away we are from the boat right now. That's where it is, way over there. So we brought it all the way over here. And we are going to clean the scales off of these yellow tails using this pressure washer. So watch this. I'm gonna step on him so he doesn't move. It works good. <laughs> Not a scale left on them. Nice. Beautiful. Let's do this one. If you guys want one of these pressure washers, check out the link below in the video description. Giraffe Tools on Amazon. Fish are clean, the boat's all clean. Time to put it away. All you gotta do is pull on it. It's got an auto retract system on it and just follow it all the way up here. And this ball will stop it so it doesn't go too far. Just walk it up like this, super simple and easy. Stop just like that and you're good to go. It's time to go home and cook some fish. It's nature's boat wash. We don't have to wash the boat now. Can you go out there? I forgot something. You can go get it. Where's Charles? There's no game fit. You ain't got no game. Smokey is smoking. We don't actually have a new name for the grill yet. We're almost at 500. Fun day with the yellow tails. Really cool, you know, seeing Sarah blast the scales off with the pressure washer. And I mean, it knocked her right off. I also gutted the fish and gilled it. So we got all those out. But all we're gonna do, a lot of people commented, you know, all you need is salt on fish, apparently. They said, try some sea salt. So that's what we're doing. We're gonna wrap it in tin foil, olive oil and salt. And, uh, you know, let's just score it and do this and get it going. Jamaican Mike was there at the marina. We gave him those other couple ones that we uh, 
scaled with the pressure washer, so he's happy. And uh, we filleted some. Everybody else got some fillets. And I will tell you what, you guys, this grill is smoking. I can barely see out here. This yellow tail is ready. All scored. Scored means cut, supposedly. Ugh, it's childproof. I can't get it off. Sarah, help me. <laughs> this thing broken. Oh, the nails. I don't have any <laughs> nails, you guys. I couldn't grab it. No, I chew good. them off. Oh. I get nervous when I'm uh, fishing, sword fishing, when I'm waiting for a bite and I chew up my nails. <laughs> Bad habit, guys. Don't do that. Anyhow, let's get them all ready here. Ooh, that's smoky. I should move. Up. I should move away from this thing. I can't even see. Olive oil on each side, and just heavy salt. We want to try to get in all those little creases in there too, just to give that fish a little bit of flavor there. Now it's time to wrap our fish here. We did one at the marina the other day, a nice big mutton snapper. I didn't wrap him in tin foil, I just did him on the grill and it was really good, but his skin stuck a little bit uh, more than I planned. So we're gonna do the tin foil like Jamaica Mike showed us. And it kind of almost steamed him, I guess, a little bit. We'll check back in about 20 minutes. The fish is definitely done. Now we're just gonna slide it on here. Let's check this beauty out. Ooh, it's still smoking hot, you guys. Just got off the grill there. Now I put quite a bit of olive oil on here, but you could probably put a tad more because you can see that sticking a little bit. There we go, we got most of it up there now. Let's see. Ooh, yeah, look at that. This is gonna be good. So all we got sea salt on here, olive oil, and we're just gonna hit it with a little bit of lime juice. Fresh lime lemon would be better, but I don't have any fresh ones, I can't find them. <laughs> There's a whole bag of fresh there is? ones up there. Okay, where? Fresh lime to finish it off. I couldn't find them. All I could find was that. I said, no, we got a whole bag up there. She's been making yellow ceviche lately. Did two rounds of it and everybody seemed to love it. I didn't try it though, but we're eating this right now. Great day. It was kind of cool using those nomads at the end too. That was the first time I've used them. Cool to see all the life down there. There was hogfish, snappers, grunts, stone crabs, lobsters, and uh, not having to come up to breathe every few seconds. That was cool. But let's see how the old pressure washer did on this yellowtail. Whole fish, you can see this, it's still hot coming off the steam and all that stuff. Hopefully I don't burn my mouth, but sea salt, fresh lime juice, here we go. Very good, delicious. And we don't eat, you know, we've been doing more and more of this, but the meat pulls right off the bone. You get like 100% of the fish this way, which is nice because when we fillet it, you know, you get a lot of it, but I just never grew up eating fish this way. And Mike, the Jamaican Mike was really the one who showed us this, and then a lot of other people recommended it, so. Super good, the lime, the salt and the olive oil would be okay, but the fresh lime juice, just a little bit on there, makes such a big difference there, just to give it a little bit of kick and a little bit of zest, I would say. So look at this there, you can pull the meat off and just the backbones are gonna be there. You do gotta be careful because there's bones in it this way. You don't wanna get the bones, so. Sadie, you wanna try a bite? No, hang on, don't eat the lime. Eat a bite of fish, sweetie. So, let's see if Sadie approves. Ready? Is it hot? What do you think? Good. It's good? All righty. Well, <laughs> that wraps it up. If you guys want one of those pressure washers, check out the link below. We'll have it in the video description. And uh, fun day. So hope you all enjoyed it. Hit that like button. We'll see you all next time. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's OK. You're going to have to do that over again, Jocelyn. <laughs> 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 <It's> sinking. <laughs>